Hey everyone, DW Berman here with another little uh, character animator test. It's been a while since I've done a character animator test, but uh, I wanted to uh, demonstrate something to a friend of mine and uh, actually prove it because I had the idea, but I didn't actually uh, try it until today. So I figured that if if you wanted the squiggle vision, if you wanted the quick uh, hand drawn animation look where not the, the lines don't match cleanly, uh, a way to achieve that would be to draw each shape three times or so and cycle through the uh, the loop. Uh, so you basically it's showing uh, one one version of the art piece of like say like the eyebrow, then it shows a different version of the eyebrow, then it shows a third version of the eyebrow, and it cycles back around so that it's actually showing uh, a, a different piece of artwork every couple of frames. Uh, and and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, it, it's a sketchy look, but you know if you want the sketchy look, if that's what you're going for, then it 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 works. Of course, the the movement is too smooth um, because it's just kind of moving along. And I'm recording at 30 frames per second, so that doesn't really help the the sketchiness of it. However, I found that 30 frames per second does better with uh, well, matching the mouth. Although it's still not perfect. So, but it's you know. It's moving in time, even if it's not perfectly synced or whatever. But you know, hey, this is this is still uh, it's a way to do animation. So <laughs> it's it's a, a, that's a little uh, easier than the traditional methods, a little quicker, a little more immediate. Um, and I hesitate to call it animation because it's more puppeteering because you make a digital puppet and then you you know act along and talk and it basically mimics you. So it's more puppeteering, but the software is called Character Animator. comes with After Effects these days. So, um, yeah. The, the software is animating the character. It's just as the animator, I'm not animating the character per se. So, uh, well, anyway, this was a, a quick demonstration of a squiggle line technique. If you want to see like an actual tutorial on how to achieve this, uh, leave a comment below, and um, I can maybe do a demonstration or just show you the scene, a breakdown of the scene, so you can see how it's set up. And again, if you want to do this type of um, animation, um, I'm saying I'm a lot, aren't I? Anyway, uh, that's the joy of the immediate, uh, immediateness of this type of animation. Is you can make lots of mistakes, and it doesn't matter because it's it's supposed to be uh, rough around the edges. So anyway, anyway, I've babbled on long enough. So um, yeah, so uh, like share subscribe um all that all that good stuff that you do on on youtube channel so thanks for watching and uh have a great day